the eye of a hurricane passes over Grand Bahama Island in a direction 60 degrees north of west with a speed of 44 kilometers per hour. Three hours later, the course of the hurricane suddenly shifted due north and its speed slows to 22 kilometers per hour. <clears throat> How far from Grand Bahama is the hurricane? <clears throat> is a hurricane 4.4 hours after it passes over the island? <clears throat> so we have right here Grand Bahama Island. And we know that it was going west, or rather, 60 degrees north of west. So we have 60 degrees here. And it was going at 44 kilometers per hour for three hours. So 44 kilometers per hour for three hours. The hours cancel out. And it was 132 kilometers. So it went 132 kilometers. We want to know. And then, um, and then for the next uh, period, it went due north. <clears throat> it went north. Let me draw that better. It went north, and it, it went north at 22 kilometers per hour. And it did that. Um, it wants to know after 4.4 hours after it passed over the island. We already got three hours, so we got 1.4 hours left. So your hours will cancel out again. 22 times 1.4 is... 30.8 so it went another 30.8 uh, kilometers straight north this is good because we know uh, this is our y-axis this is only going on the y-axis is not moving at all on the x-axis so we know that y2 equals 30.8 so what does y1 equal y1 we can say that sine of 60 degrees equals y1 over 132 <clears throat> that ends up being <clears throat> that y1 equals 114 114.32 what is x x2 we've already said there is no x movement X2 is 0. What is X1? Well, <clears throat> X1 would be cosine of 60 degrees divided by our uh, equals equals our adjacent or our, our change in X <clears throat> over 132, which ends up equaling... <clears throat> X, change in X equals 66. So, our X1 is 66. Now we can add our X's and add our Y's and find our resultant vector. So, my X's only have one, is 66. <clears throat> my Y1 was 114.32. My Y2 is 30.8. So my total, my, my total Y is 145.12. So I got 66, 145.12. Here's what I have. 
I have, um, let me undo that. I have a hurricane went this way, and it went that way. Now, I want to find out this line right here. Let me make it in red. I want to find this line. I know that my X is 66, and I know that my Y is, <coughs> what I say it was, 145.12. So I can find the, I can, I can find the, um, magnitude using my Pythagorean theorem. So, the square root of 66 squared plus, uh, we'll do one, we'll round it to 145 squared. That will give me my magnitude, which is, um, 159.42. That's this distance. But we also need the angle. And it says that it wants the angle. Um, actually, it don't want the angle. It just wants the magnitude. So there you go. Use the Pythagorean theorem. And your answer is in kilometers.